Good day, George. Uh, uh, thank you for your time and congratulations. Uh, big win yesterday. Uh, Jackie Lambie agreed to vote against this legislation to um, take away our mobile phones. And first of all, I would like to thank you and con congratulate you for leading this campaign from the front. Thank you very much, Naroz. Um, look, this was a team effort. It wasn't just uh, us at the National Justice Project. We worked with the Asylum Seeker Resource Centre and Amnesty International and many other groups to push for the overturning of the minister's plans to take mobile phones off detainees. Uh, the final nail in the coffin of the minister's plan was Jackie Lambie, uh, and she came out yesterday and said she would not be voting for this law because even she uh, understood that this was not about safety or policing. It was just a cruel policy uh, to hurt detainees in immigration detention. The government has the power to attack crime in detention centres. If there's a problem, they can get the police and deal with it. This was not about crime. It was just about being cruel. A hundred percent. And what many of our Australians don't know, that we wouldn't have a mobile phone to start with if it wasn't for the National Justice Project's class action back in 2017. Um, and can you tell a little bit about that? Like, I mean, at that point, I remember no one was talking about this mobile phone issue apart from you and National Justice Project. What yeah, made well, you yeah, think that like the dead class action was necessary back in 2017? Look, uh, it all came out of the blue. We got a call on a Friday afternoon about four o'clock uh, indicating that a single judge had suggested that the minister could not take the phone off one uh, detainee. And that was in the Federal Circuit Court. And the case, I think they were legally aided, asked for a, a, a ban, ban to stop the minister from taking everyone's phones. But the Federal Circuit Court said, we don't have the power to make a blanket order on the minister. So we had to urgently commence proceedings on the weekend to stop the minister by using the federal court class action procedures. If we hadn't been able to start a class action, we wouldn't have been able to stop the minister from taking the phones off everyone in detention. So we, um, we commenced proceedings. We, we told the court we were going to be uh, starting proceedings on the weekend. And on Sunday, on the Sunday, the, the very day that the minister was going to start taking everyone's phones off them, we got an injunction from Justice Raries in the federal court in Sydney stopping the minister from taking phones. Now, the minister appealed that. He appealed it twice. He's, first of all, he tried to say that there wasn't jurisdiction for a class action. And second of all, after we won that, he tried to overturn the decision and he lost twice. And so this law that, that the minister tried to get through parliament came as a result of our court action. So over the last few years, thousands of people in detention have benefited from having their mobile phones. And it is a lifeline. I know how important it is to you, Naroz. I mean, you know how critical it is. Yeah, I, I 2017, I remember receiving a National Justice Project when they started the class action. I was on Christmas Island Detention Center and we received um, this notification uh, from National Justice Project that you're part of this action. If you want to, you know, leave it, it sign is, here. Yeah. 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 And at that point, I mean, Christmas Island, I mean, it was a whole different world. I remember, I mean, me and other detainees had no rights. Um, there was no accountability. We couldn't speak to our families, little to no contact outside the island. And we were treated like slaves. Um, I mean, 
in the absence of accountability, I remember once they put me in solitary confinement in a very hot weather with no ventilation, just because I lodged a complaint and they asked me to drink water from the toilet. My family was worried I couldn't call anyone. And now thinking back, I mean, this mobile phone has saved so many lives. And if it wasn't for National Justice Project, class action in 2017, we wouldn't be here where we are. I mean, the Australians, uh, like, you know, the 96% of the hundreds and thousands who voted, they looked at the facts. They looked at the detainees, like my life and other detainees who post about it. I mean, the stuff which came out that we are humans. We are not those dangerous aliens as the government would have them believe. So, Again, we wouldn't show it was a team effort. And like, you know, we thank the Labour and the Greens and other detainees, but we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for 2017. George, wow. thank you. What keeps, what keeps you going? I mean, it's a, it's a weekend and, you know, you're on your way to meet an Aboriginal family. What motivates you to do such good work, life-saving work? Uh, thank you, Naroz. You're very kind. I am actually on my way to a memorial service for uh, one of our clients whose son died. This is his uh, birthday, sadly, today. And I've driven up to Kempsey to be with the family. I love our clients. I love helping people. I love helping people who are treated in, in the most marginalised way in our society. People like you, who are good people who who've committed no crime uh, and or you're, and you're, and yet you're in detention. And, you know, it, it gives us great pleasure to ensure that your human rights are being enforced in this country and we'll do it any way we can within the law uh, and we'll continue to fight for justice. So thank you for calling me today, Naroz, and, and talking about this important subject. Also, a final thank you to Jackie Lambie, and the crossbench Rex Patrick, because without them and Labor and the Greens, we wouldn't be in this position today. But, uh, you know, it, this has been a great effort by a, a large number of people, and in particular the detainees. I know you've been at the forefront, uh, the detainees at Kangaroo Point. Um, all over Australia, uh, we've seen um, people speaking out, the Biloela family on Christmas Island. I think they'd be in Sri Lanka today if it wasn't for their mobile phone. hundred percent. I mean, and they wouldn't have a mobile phone if it wasn't for National Justice Project. Now, George, of course, it was a team effort, but a lot of Australians, how can they support National Justice Project? Because I know they're doing the heavy lifting, the whole of Australia. How can people support you? Um, you're very kind at once again. Um, we love uh, volunteers, you know, give us a call. Look on our website. We've got a volunteering uh, page. But also, if people feel like donating, they can do that through the uh, website as well. But, Naros, you are the one that we, you know, this is about you, not about us today. Congratulations on keeping your mobile phone. And I hope very soon you'll be out and with your beautiful a partner and with your family again. So thank you very much for calling me today. Thank you so much for your kind time, George, and thank you so much for your everything you're doing for us. And congratulations to you again as well, George. And thank you so much for joining in and hopefully we'll speak to you soon as well. Thank you, George. I look forward to it. Bye. Bye. Thank you.